what's going on family what's going on what's going on welcome back to another episode of live with brian let me tell y'all something yesterday was lit now yesterday was lit and do y'all remember the broadcast i was telling y'all about with the um my friend that's a therapist and her boyfriend who does music and stuff like that so we finished the thumbnail today the audio we had a little technical difficulties uh the other day whenever we did it but everything should be uploaded today i know yesterday's um Yesterday's episode should be done uploading at about 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock Central Standard Time, I want to say, because I'm in the middle. So that's that. And we have their episode coming like right after that. So I'm probably going to do two uploads today rather than one. And this episode should be uploaded tomorrow before I'm scheduled to be released tomorrow um, because I'm not getting back till Monday because my trip is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But welcome back to another episode, y'all. I'm so glad. I'm about to change this camera angle a little bit. I'm so glad y'all came back today. But look, y'all, y'all already know how we do. We gotta. There we go. We gotta. We gotta break the ice. You know, I, I gotta. I gotta let people know what's going on because everybody be confused. So let me just start. I'm, and I'm probably gonna say it six more times, but y'all, you know how to live. It be doing whatever. But welcome to another episode of Live Brian. My name is Coach Brian. I'm a holistic coach, holistic trainer. Y'all send some thumbs up in the chat if y'all can hear me nice and clearly. I did a nice little test run on the new system before I got on here, so it sounds nice to me. But if it sounds better to y'all, that's amazing. I only got two rules. Rule number one, we come on here, we have fun. Y'all can ask any question y'all want to ask. I don't care. You don't even have to be holistic stuff. We could just talk. We could do whatever. I like to make and create the biggest space that I can to let it be open for everybody. If we if we got somebody that's good at something and they understand what they're talking about, I let them have the floor. If you don't know what you're talking about, I can't tell you to be quiet. But you know, it's, <laughs> we just don't like confusion. Uh, rule number two. Well, not even really a rule. It's just something that I, w- I would like for y'all to do. If you're just coming up in here, there should be a little meter right here. And all you got to do is tap your screen. Tap your screen until the little meter get full, and then that's all you got to do for this live. You don't have to tap again. You don't have to like, follow, subscribe, all, even though that would be nice if y'all do that. You don't have to like, follow, subscribe, all that type of stuff. But what happens is whenever you tap the screen and you fill that meter up, it throws me into the algorithm, and then it helps me to get on a bigger platform and get in front of more people. But other than that, uh, then the, the house rules and all that. Welcome back to another episode, y'all. It's It's been, this has been a, a crazy week, like, We've had some dope episodes this week. We had some dope guests last week. I'm trying to get y'all. There's okay. I, I'm gonna just I'm gonna say it to y'all because everybody that's gonna watch it, they are gonna figure out till it. So y'all gonna be the first to know about it. So I have this cinematographer, right? Um, well, I don't ha- I don't have him, but he he's a he's a well he's a well known cinematographer out here in Louisiana. He goes by the name of Chris Jones. You can find him on TikTok, uh, Chris Jones World. And he released a a, a, a single called Pearl Motel. He did a soundtrack for it. All of that. I'm trying to get him. I'm trying to get him on here by next week. Um, I'm trying to get Kenny Wade and Brooke to be back on here next week. I'm trying to get Amber on here next week, and um, I know for sure there's a few other people. I'm not now. I'm not going. Su- I'm not going to spoil the, the other surprise. The other people I'm trying to get on here. But if you are somebody that you know would like to be a part of the live uh, broadcast and stuff like that, let me know. Like y'all can slide my DMs. Y'all can leave a comment, whatever. But it's time to take this thing to another level. We didn't switch up the scenery. We didn't switch up the settings. You know, we got things looking a little different. But I'm just. I'm just in the, like I said the other day, like I closed it out yesterday, I'm just in a place of gratitude because I love that I'm starting to increase the volume of people around me who not only know more than I know, but they, they're doing better, quote unquote, because what is really better, you know, but like they're, they're, they're achieving things that I want to achieve a little bit faster than I am, you know, so I've been blessed to be in really good company lately and to have amazing audience. Like when I tell y'all, y'all have been the best audience. All y'all come up in here and y'all ask the best questions. When y'all hop on the live, it is the best interactions. It's, it's like, it's no craziness in my comment section. And I know we've only been doing it. It's on this episode, what, 15, I want to say. We've only been doing about two, three weeks now. And we've all, thank you so much for the love. Thank you. I see the gift coming through. Um, And we've only been doing this for like, what, not three weeks, maybe a month. And I'm just grateful, bro, because the amount of people that come through here and the stuff we talk about and y'all just so easy with it. I don't have to get up in here and like be somebody that I'm not and stuff like that. It is what it is. My brother, my brother, peace reflects. Hey, what's that? What's happening? Ready 17. Am I reading that right? Yeah. Ready 17. If y'all see me put my hand like this, I have the little screen thing. Or if you see me doing like this, uh, the little captions are really, really far away. And I got myself monitoring on the big screen. So I just kind of do it so I could see it a little bit better on my screen over there and understand. But let's start with a little icebreaker. Where y'all from? I feel like I've been getting the, like yesterday we had a bunch of uh, people from Jamaica and Dallas. The day before that we had people from um, a lot of people from not New York, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. It was from New York. Time before that, we had people more so on the West Coast with um, California and stuff like that. Me, myself, personally, I'm from Southern Louisiana, literally at the bottom of Louisiana. But I like to know where y'all from. You know, a lot of people be here and there doing their thing or whatever. But like, well, where are my viewers from today? So I can kind of know what a, what a dial is thing in. But once again, y'all, welcome back to another episode. And I said, Alabama, oh, you right there. Tuscaloosa, you right there. Tuscaloosa, how you? First of all, did I pop up on your For You page or you already following me? North Alabama, Arkansas. All right, all right. We got a tribe up in here today. See, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, it'd be like, it's, it's typically in one little region. Okay, we got Memphis in the building. New York, living in New Jersey now, but I'm building a community of black folk to buy land in the motherland. That's what I'm talking about. Ghana, Ghana got to do a citizenship. Georgia, all right, cool, cool. We got, all right. Texas in the house. Houston, y'all right there. Like, y'all like three hours away from me. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so pretty much the central a little bit more eastern region is in here today all right cool i like i like that i like that y'all ain't been too hot huh like i know down here it hasn't been um i it hasn't been like crazy crazy hot as opposed to how it was a few years ago because like they're saying heat waves are going up but i feel like we've been putting enough forest regeneration around us because like little that people know let me let me say something about climate change right so uh <laughs> everybody say yeah it's burning up it'd be like that we, we in the summer summer but um Here's the thing about forest regeneration, right? So apparently, if you well, first of all, we already know there's a lot of forest being burned down and trimmed down and all of that. So of course it's gonna be hotter. But the more plants, greenery, and trees that we grow around us, we can actually create our own climates per region. And I forgot that I forgot um in the oh you in VA is Virginia, right? I want to say it's not bad here in the VA to be honest. I want to say it's Virginia. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh. Yeah, I think you're more northeast from where I'm at. What I was about to say. Oh, yeah, when it comes out to forest regeneration, the more trees and stuff that you have out here, um, you can actually create your community, can create your own climate. So let's say that uh, the street that I live on, right? We we do actually have a lot of trees, a lot of greenery. I'm in southern Louisiana. Like, agriculture is really big around here. You go not even two streets down, you see sugarcane fields and stuff like that. So I noticed that different parts of the city, right? What's going on, Mama Shaq? My queen. What's going on, Shaq? Um, I see when different different areas and regions like where we at in the city in the city of where I live at, like the areas that have a lot more vegetation and trees and stuff like that, it's not as hot and it's not as humid. But when I go towards like where I used to live, you know, where there's less vegetation and stuff like that, are more by the school areas where there's and the other shopping areas where there's nothing. You know, it, it's like it's really 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 hot. Like it's it's hot hot. You know, so we, I feel like we need to do as a community if we because they're talking about global warming, how we can fix it, stuff like that. Now, granted, you know, me personally, I feel as though I'm not saying that as as humans or as the people that live in the society, we don't play a role in it. But these corporations, if they if what they put out, people have no no choice to buy because ain't nobody out here billing straws. I mean, creating straws and creating pots, pans, cars and sofas and ain't nobody out here doing that. You know, so if they was to go a more geo friendly route, then we wouldn't have half of these problems. If they stop using plastic and go more towards hemp and stuff like that, we wouldn't have these problems. Well, I ain't going to say we wouldn't have these problems, but like that's already solving it. Like majority of emissions don't even come from the humans. It comes from the people. I'm not even going to get into the corporation stuff, but I'm saying all that. I'm saying all that to say, y'all. When I started looking up forest regeneration and literally how people can re can create their own climate domes in their societies and areas or cities or wherever, it's crazy. Like it literally plays a role in societal behavior, uh, crime rates. Um, I can't say that word, but you know that rate when you know when people off themselves and stuff like that. My condolences to y'all because y'all every life is every life is valuable and everybody has a purpose. Y'all shouldn't be, you know. I know life is hard, but please find another way. Get out, reach out to talk to somebody. But, um, you know, stuff like that, it plays a role in psychological things. Like, prime example, I read an article about um, the crime rates in uh, other countries that use blue light therapy. So, apparently, the cities that have, like, that had, like, a whole bunch of glyphosate and the inorganic wheat pesticides and preservatives and everything. I know, right? Is that, and that's not even helping the, the situation at all. Just making it worse. But I was looking at... Uh, I think it was in the UK, I want to say they was doing like an experiment on like the crime rates in certain areas and they do it was called blue light therapy. So they went to the places that have like the, the biggest murder cases and shootings and arrest and, you know, domestic violence and all that type of stuff. And they replaced their night lights, the little um, street lights with like blue lights, especially like in the places where people were getting mugged at, were getting uh, ass assaulted in more than one way. I don't want to say that word to get flagged, but, you know, stuff was happening and it went down like by 50 percent. 
and not even a week it went down i don't i I didn't dive into the full science behind it but from what i can recollect and what if i know what i know from my general knowledge every color whether it be red the raw gb of all of that they all have their own frequency we see those colors and they vibrate and resonate with our eyes on a certain frequency but those colors and those frequencies once they hit the body it resonates with certain emotions it resonates with certain chemical releases like if y'all notice um led lights been a big thing it's been it started like 20 2013 i want to say in between 2009 and 2013 is like when it started but it really boomed like 2014 2015 now you see everybody got the led lights in their house or in their game rooms and their youtube channels or whatever and your mood and like your your chemical responses and your emotional state has a lot to do with the colors that you're vibrating with you know so one thing that i noticed is that blue is a very calming um purifying relaxing color that they use and not only that type of therapy but many other type of therapies and whenever you put those type of things in communities in a mass spread look how much good it did for the area you know so it just goes to show one two three simple little things that they can put in the areas to help should help and will help if they actually want to do it going back to the forest regeneration thing so just imagine if that same effort those same therapeutic studies and implications would or practices i should say was to be done like worldwide or at least just for you know america is sad right now so like at least throughout america you know what i'm saying like it'll be a whole nother community bro a whole nother community but shout out to everybody that's up i'm seeing the numbers go up and some uh, new people up in here if, for y'all that, that don't know me my name is coach brian i'm a holistic coach and trainer um this is the live q a i do it at least three to four times a week uh well i'm back to doing it three or four times a week i was ghost for like a month i had to get some stuff together because business had changed up a little bit but um at least three to four uh times a week i go live around 3 15 central standard time i know i'm on a little bit earlier but i'm trying to get as much time on here as possible because i'm going to be uh, on a vacation from friday saturday sunday i'm going to see kendrick lamar tomorrow i'm going to see kenny ken kung fu kenny i'm going to check him out tomorrow so um i'm just you know i'm gonna have my content already made i'm gonna be posting blah 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 but i'm gonna be posting stuff that's already made so i don't want people like oh he posting but he ain't going live i'm just giving y'all a heads up right now like i'm not touching my phone until monday I'm not even touching my computer until Monday. I lie. I'm probably going to make some music. But I'm not going to be doing no work till Monday because I, I deserve this vacation. I've been working almost seven months straight. I'm talking about from time I wake up to the time I go to sleep, which brings me to another topic now that I think about it. Yo, we need to manage our stress a lot better. I'm talking about like not and not even not even just like, oh, well, duh, Brian, we got we to stop. You know, stress is bad for the body and blah, 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 blah. We got to start doing stuff. We got to take the stigmas off of ourselves. I noticed that, like, especially when it comes down to community and stuff like that. A lot of a lot of us don't really do what makes us honestly happy. Like we appease to others or like we do things. I think about gift giving like you give a gift and most people are like, well, I do it out, out the sake of um the sake of caring and the sake of giving and blah, 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 blah. But in all actuality, you're look, like you get something out of that and you giving a gift. You're 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 the thing that you read back is the happiness or seeing that person happy or seeing a reaction or something like that. You know, so it's time for us to, to take the stigmas off of ourselves and honestly do what makes us happy without it being, you know, like if you're if your happiness is sadistic and like it goes against like human nature and like you out here harming people and doing crazy stuff then that's not i don't know what you got going on we we need to send you to, to some prayer some therapy some something because look we we don't need no more of that it's too much going on but like even if like even when it comes down to like your sex life like if you know you're not sexually satisfied and stuff like that uh i'm gonna get i see your question you say what can you take for hormone imbalances i'm gonna get to you real quick but let me say this for a second now i'm gonna get on that topic and just like she doing y'all y'all can send y'all questions as i'm going uh i may not see them because i the things far away i may not be able to scroll back to them but if i see them and call them out and remember them or if i just don't get to them just send them again like i'm just you know i'm trying to get to all these comments too but um even when it comes out to like your sex life and stuff like that if you're not satisfied you know like if you're not if you know that you haven't really been operating in your pleasure or you haven't been operating in the things that and i and i refer to, to that because like you I, I look at i've been doing a lot of studies on erectile dysfunction but i've also been doing a lot of studies on like marriage and elongation of marriage and like the the psychological habits that come behind or that come with you know like a commitment actual commitment and just everyday day-to-day -day life people that aren't married either and just sexual habits to begin with because we're living in a day and age where literally we are the highest america alone is the high and then we're really young from 18 to 25 we are the highest consumers of viagra or performance enhancing drugs when it comes down to sex 
you know, and then and, and it's male and female. Well, I ain't going to, it's a lot more genders now. So, you know, I'm going to just say everybody because I don't want to, I don't want to be wrong with the pronouns and stuff like that. I'm not, I'm not too fluid on that yet. I'm working on it. But, um, you know, it, it's like, it, it, it's we're we're in a, we're in the day and age to where like people are having true dysfunction. We, we're not, we don't, we trying to satisfy others and we can't, we're trying to satisfy ourselves and we can't, but I feel as though we have these stigmas on ourselves to where we have these limits that we subconsciously place on ourselves or we try to vicariously be happy or do things that should vicariously bring us joy through other people or through, or through other uh, things. So we need to focus on doing the things that actually bring us to a state of true bliss. Like what I've been doing is 530 in the morning, I wake up, right? And my friend Brooke, she's uh the ther- the uh therapist. Yeah, she's I, I don't want I want to use the right practice. The therapist that um that she is, she like in the, the episode that I'm dropping later on today, she drops gems about like subconscious training and like uh understanding the voices that's actually in your head. Is it your voice? You know, it's like is it your ex's voice? Is it your mother's or father's voice? Is it your seven year old voice? Like like what part of you speaks the most in certain situations when you're sad or angry or upset? Who's really talking? You know, and it, it, it's so I was just talking to her with it not so long ago. We had to get the screenshot stuff for the thumbnail. But um, it was so powerful when she said that because I really started waking up in the morning and I started I, trying to identify, you know, like I have a, gr- a really good sense of self. Like one of the biggest things that I pride myself in is that I'm very constructive on the criticism that I put on myself, regardless of what anybody like y- 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 y'all can give me 10,000 thumbs up, 10,000 thumbs down. I don't care. I'm looking at myself from the inside out. You know, and one of the biggest things I've been doing in my prayer and meditation in the morning, I wake up and not I wake up and try to hop into my spirit of gratefulness. I try to hop into my, my spirit of constructive criticism and progression, you know, and then I try to be more keen and more aware to my daily mental habits. So if I'm happy in the moment, I'm like, why am I happy? What am I resonating with right now? You know, and then there are, there's other moments where I'd be sad or frustrated or like I feel conflicted about something. OK, why? You know, who's talking right now? What's going on? You know, so it, it's really important for us to find things to be transparent with ourselves, to I truly identify with ourselves, but as well as being truly happy and satisfied. I feel like we are not living our lives for ourselves anymore. Like the majority of us do not function in individuality we do not function in creativity and we do not function in the holistic like benefits of just pleasing yourself it's okay to be selfish like i don't know who this for because i was not about to talk about this but like it's okay to be selfish and not even in a bad way because i feel like being selfish has a bad connotation to it stingy and stingy and selfish is two different things but when done with the right intentions and reasons is it really a bad thing you know because like i'm selfish with my personal space and as I should be, you know, I, not everybody should have access to you. Not everybody should be able to touch you and reach you and talk to you and do all of that. Like, do not disturb was was created for people like me. Like, I don't want to be talked to all the time, especially in the morning. Like, I wake up before everybody for a reason. Not to say I'm a grouch. Not to say I'm a bad person and I'm not and I'm insociable or unsociable, whatever. But I'm in a place to where it's like I know th- I want to be with myself the first hour or two of the day. That's what I want to do. I want to I want to take the time to build myself. I want to take the time to love on myself. I want to take the time to set the tone for my day. And I want to do some of the hardest things in the first thing in the morning before the rest of my day comes. Because if I eat dirt the first thing in the morning, metaphor, but if I'm eating dirt the first thing in the morning, I'm going through some of the hardest things or the most critical things I have to go through first thing in the morning. The rest of the day is a breeze. And that's just for me. You know, so y'all got to figure out what's y'all method and what y'all practice to make y'all as happy as possible and as pleasing to yourself and, and satisfied as possible. You know, if y'all go look at um, uh, Sexual Essentials, Mia Biggs, I, Bug, I, Bigsby, I think her last name is, but just happened Sexual Essentials. She is a, uh, is a sex coach, but like it's a lot deeper than that. Like a lot of people are like, oh, I want to go find out a new position. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's cool. But like her psychology behind why she does what she does and how she preaches it and stuff like that when i tell you it'll make you completely change the way you look at sex but it's also gonna make you change the way you look at yourself are you pleasing yourself are you you can't expect somebody else or other things to please you or satisfy you when you can't even do that for yourself you know what i'm saying so like and and that's another thing too it's okay to be lost it's okay to be confused it's okay to start from step one from from uh, ground zero because oftentimes we get around this i'm 27 we get around 25, 26, 27, 30, 
and we go through these cri these mental crises of like, okay, we've been living this type of life, but is that really the life I want to live? Is this really the person I want to become? Because around this time, we're feeling like, okay, we need to start making more concrete decisions or we need to start making decisions that's going to better us for when we're in our 40, 50, 60s. You know what I'm saying? So it's like her name is uh Mia Bigsby, I think, but her, her social media is called uh, Sexual Essentials. But um, and she's she's amazing, y'all. She is amazing. I got her Patreon and everything. And she, like, she's dope. And um, and, I, and I'm gonna stop right there because I got some. I see questions rolling in, and I'm gonna I'm gonna come back and cover that. So the first question, one person that said, "How can how can she uh how can they um how she said regulate uh well she has imbalanced hormones. How can she regulate? So for one, if uh go for red macaroon. Um, you should definitely be drinking, even though I hate it, 16 to 32 ounces of celery juice every morning. But honestly, I would say go on a cleanse, go on a fast. I have a 10-day detox at CoachBrian.com or the link in my bio. You can click that. It's a digital PDF, and it guides you through a very, very, very pleasant detox that will re-regulate you. But at the same time, you need to implement, impl implement things inside of your life that's going to regulate you. Oftentimes, we have these hormonal imb imbalances because, yes, we do have genetic uh, weaknesses or something like that. But it's typically what we're putting in our mouths. Something cannot break down properly. Watch the meats that you're eating because that once again, for all y'all that's new here, I don't pick a side. I don't pick animal protein side or plant protein side. I pick what works and what works is what I'm going to roll with because everybody has different walks of life. Everybody has different accesses to different resources and I'm just not an extremist anymore. I used to be. I used to be fruitarian, all that type of stuff. And I'm not saying I'm not saying it's wrong or nothing like that, but I'm just in a different ideology right now. And I feel like I can reach more people like that rather than with this totalitarian totalitarianism ideology. But anyways, um. I would say uh, you have to watch what you're eating, too, because a lot of these days, a lot of the foods and stuff that we're eating has a lot of pesticides, herbicides, hormones that they use to grow these creatures a little bit faster and a little bit bigger to um, to get to the people for mass distribution. So go on a fast, you know, give your body a chance to dump all that stuff out for your androgen levels to re-regulate and get on some uh, red macaroon. You can get on some uh, some ginseng. You can start drinking some burdock tea, start drinking some milk thistle, dandelion root tea. Um and and I'll, and I'll say that about full five herbs right there, cause I don't want to over I don't want to overdo it. But um, you know, and start eating more fruits and things of that nature, and start sweating. Start giving your body a chance to release things too. If you're not a sweater, like find a way to make yourself sweat. If you're not somebody who exercises and moving around a lot, go sit outside for 10-15 minutes a day. Go walk around for 10-15 minutes a day. Do something physical. But oftentimes we have hormonal imbalances because our diet is messed up and our physical activity is trash. You know, not saying that's your situation. It could be something else. You know, and also watch the medication that you're on. Some medication messes with our pituitary and thyroid glands and we just all over the place we just like uh, the hormones can't produce right our uh, serotonin melatonin can't produce right and stuff is all over you know so make sure you're taking the time to observe what's coming in so you can see what comes out or what's a reaction of what you're putting within your body and also get to a place of solace like I said before, get wake up early in the morning and talk to yourself. Like set the tone for your day. Speak words over yourself. Affirm over yourself. I have a vision board. We talked about this episode or two ago. I got a vision board, and like everything I write, it always happens. No matter how long it takes, it's gonna. Even if I write it and forget about it, it's gonna happen. So even if you gotta write things down or speak it out loud, like start putting yourself physically and spiritually in line with balance, and then everything else will line up. Somebody else said, can you please explain holistic? To me, holistic means everything. Mind, body, soul, spirit, inside out, no particular order, but like it's a complete circle. So I can't be, I can't, like we just talked about with balance. I can't be physically holistic and not mentally holistic. I can't be spiritually holistic and not, and not physically holistic. Everything has to go in a complete circle. You reap what you sow. Or you want to call it uh, uh, sowing and reaping, karma, uh, uh, yin yang, uh, whatever the, the ideologies or whatever it is, you know. And I feel as though... If you truly operate in that balance and you operate in that intention, you operate in things that's going to holistically are it's holistic is spelled with an H. But like if you really think about it, W-H-O-L-E, that's really the, what encompasses the word holistic. Everything as a whole, everything as a, as a full circle, everything coming into completion and can be repeated and increasingly repeated. You know, so make sure you're putting yourself in. If you want to put yourself in that holistic mindset, think about everything as one. Think about everything as a balance and as a harmonious circle, because if you don't, you're going to be all off tangent and it's going to be it's going to be a lot of stuff. But that's my that's the definition to me. Um Write the vision and make it plain for sure, for sure, for sure, because if you don't, that's one thing people don't realize. Whether you feel as though you deserve it or not, whatever you claim and whatever's meant for you is for you. Like, 
maybe you don't maybe maybe you don't feel as though you deserve to make a hundred thousand dollars a year or you're not smart enough for this job or you're not qualified for whatever if it's due unto you it's due unto you it it don't get no simpler than that like i'm living in literal things that i didn't even i didn't even personally pray or ask for it just came my way and i feel as though it was entrusted upon me because i know who i am I know what I do and I and I know my person and God knows who I am. God created me a certain type of way, you know, so do know that I'm I'm literally going like, oh, it's, it's competitive. I'm going to compete. Oh, it's for my betterment. I'm going to do it. Oh, it's so I can I can learn something about myself and kick these bad habits. I'm going to do it because I'm, I'm a very repetitious and in, in, um, what's the word? And what's that word? Uh, ad- I have a ve- I'll put it to you this way. I have a very addictive personality. Once I like something or once I do something or it brings interest to me, I'm going to keep doing it. Like I'm going to keep doing I'm going to like science, for example. I've been a science head since I was a child. You know, I was my parents wanted me to go to school for science, but I, obviously I didn't. But like I like I still studied biology, anatomy, um, chemistry, uh, physiology, uh, anatomy, all that type of stuff. Like I still stuck with it because that's my thank you for the I just saw the rose. Thank you for the rose, love. And. And that's just who I am and what I do. So whenever you're charged with those things or whenever those things come upon you and you deserve it because of your makeup, receive it. You know, I was in a place recently to where, like, things had took a turn, a very good turn. And I was like, uh, I don't know if I can handle this. I don't know if I deserve it. I don't know. Blah, 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 blah. But and the blessing just kept coming, kept coming and kept coming, kept coming. So who am I? to disagree or to throw my hands up or reject the very things that should be coming my way thank you for this i just saw somebody share the live thank you so much um but who am i to deny that you know like it is due unto me like i feel like people for to realize even some of the scummiest people you know certain things are due unto them because they practice certain principles and certain disciplines granted it may not come back to them how you think it will you know you don't know what they're going through behind closed doors you don't know what's really going on but like a lot of this stuff has a full circle to make like we said before holistically you're gonna reap what you sow you know so regardless of how you feel about anything positive or anything blessing or anything moving forward like it's for you receive it and walk in it and operate in it because that very thing can catapult you years and years and years ahead of where you are now and it could be in a place you didn't even think to be at but you're you're happier than you've ever been you're more content than you've ever been you know you're satisfied you're secure walk and live in that somebody said what's the lady's name Bigsby, what? Just type in sexual essentials. She's a, a brown skin woman with dreads, and um, she's a sex coach. She's amazing. Her her philosophy on, my God, she's a, she's amazing. She's just amazing. But um, but yeah, y'all, like we living in the day and age to where like everything everything expensive. You know, everything is 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 always something going on on social media, on TikTok, bro. Or just Google. I found on Instagram. So uh, you can find on Instagram. I'm pretty sure if you type in on Google, she's going to pop up, too. But I mean, just do just do your research. You type in sexual essentials. I'm pretty and look for uh, a brown skin lady with dreads. She probably got red like she dyes her hair a lot. But she's a she's a thicker she's a thicker woman, you know, and she's she's shapely. But like you can't you can't miss it. Like she she looks amazing. So like just go find her and then, you know, dive in however you want to dive in. She's she's a lot like she has a lot to give. But yeah, y'all, we living in the day and age to where it's like everybody hustling. It's calamitous in the middle of you gotta think about it in the middle of global warming food famine uh viruses and all that stuff going on with all these viruses and diseases violence police brutality war all that people still hustling people still waking up on a day-to-day basis and guess what they're going hustle they're going work they're going pay their, they're trying to pay their bill they're trying to get forward like people are looking for a way out of the rat race people are looking for a way into a better life that's what it is and that's what it's going to be so while that's happening and while we are pursuing these things and while we're forever trudging through the mud you have to realize that okay regardless of what or how i do to get there hopefully it's in the best the best ways and reason and intention but thank you for the, i just saw another share thank y'all for the shares um you know i deserve it no matter how big or small the blessing is i deserve it like whatever comes your way you should always think like oh i deserve this this is for me this is what i want this is what i need like we have to operate in that appreciation because in that gratitude because the moment we stop and the moment we don't really we don't really look for it anymore i'm not gonna say it stops coming but like you're changing your energy you're changing your perspective you have a no- prime example you ever notice how oh man i want this car and I, I, oh, I want this type of house and this is my favorite color and blah, 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 blah. But specifically with cars, like you ever notice how you'll start seeing that car over and over and over pause. 
but yeah like i was saying y'all y'all deserve it <laughs> y'all y'all deserve it i'm sorry i had to leave out like that but y'all deserve it bro but other than that um well i see a lot of new people up in here like where y'all where y'all from earlier we had new york we had virginia um we had uh georgia we had alabama um we had texas and i think that was it well, all the new people i've seen a lot of new faces where all the new people from and how did y'all how did y'all find me how did y'all find me absolutely oh you're from cali I was not expecting no Cali people from Cali, Chicago, New York. Okay, 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 okay. That's what I'm talking about. You know what? I just thought about a term, too. Um, law of attraction. So, essentially, Georgia. Oh, yeah, we got another Georgia uh, person up in here. All right. The, the, the span is getting Michigan. All right. The span is getting a little bit bigger. Because normally, I get, like, a lot of southern followers. Or I get a lot of, like, um, a little bit more like, like New York, Virginia, people like that. But, oh, Dallas. You're right there. Dallas, Dallas and Houston in the building. But, um... I get a lot of, it just be like weird regions. A lot of weird, weird, weird regions come around. Okay, now I'm seeing everybody. Kansas, D.C., we all over right now. I'm appreciative, y'all. I'm in Southern Louisiana, so I'm real appreciative for all of y'all that's like tuning in and, and coming in and checking in and chiming in and stuff like that. Like that, that means a lot to me because I'm only one person, you know, and I'm doing the best that I can and I'm trying to really figure this stuff out as I go. But is it just amazes me how like we can really form communication and form connections with people all over america like everywhere and we can do it from here you know granted i, I mean i like to travel I, i've been the first i've been east is new york and the furthest west i've been is uh is texas but i need to well i want to go to california i definitely have to go to nevada sometime soon because a lot of my friends are there in colorado but man it's just I just I just love this. Like I'm not I'm not a social media head, don't get me wrong. Like I'm not I'm not one of those people that's like, oh I gotta have social media. Like I could be in my house making music or doing whatever day on, day on, day off. You know, that's that's me. But like when I am on social media, I do like the benefits of how it brings people together and it brings new ways of making uh money for people. I love seeing especially these young people. They like I'm not young, but like they got these people out here now that's like that's millionaires from their bedrooms. I, lo I love it. Like I love stuff like that. She said, you popped up on my For Me page, and I'm grateful to be in the right place at the right time. And I'm grateful to have y'all. Matter of fact, what's, everybody put in the comment section, what's something that y'all grateful for today? I don't care if it's you saying I woke up, or ooh, I had Chick-fil-A, or ooh, I had an apple, or ooh, I had a chance to go see my son or whatever. What are y'all grateful for today? Like, I, I feel like oftentimes we don't really talk about what we're grateful for or what we're appreciative of on a day-to-day -day basis you know it becomes like a chore in a sense people are like oh well i'm grateful for this and blah 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 like like what are you really what are you really grateful for today like what are you really happy about like for me let me i'll start the thing that i'm i'm really a day off that's what i'm talking about uh grateful for my peace today that's what i'm talking about my college check oh college check come on come on because look i'm team student loans too <laughs> taking care of my pregnant guy baby that's what i'm talking about y'all some beautiful people freedom freedom to be that part time to spend with my family because you got my grandfather's birthday today as soon as i get off of here i'm going over there and my dad gotta come cut my hair because look i'm looking a mess especially before i leave but um what should y'all beat me to the punch one of the things that i'm truly grateful for today is my voice like i'm very grateful that i woke up today and i can literally open my mouth and words come out like i've been seeing and i even i've been looking for it but i've been seeing so much on social media with like people having these accidents and they like they're going through recovery therapy like they can't walk i saw this one guy he lost his uh he lost his pinky uh doing something like some fishing and stuff like that and I, I just saw like i just saw a lot of stuff going on i was like god i'm so grateful that i got food to eat clothes to wear bed sleep in the house to stay in the activity of my limbs you know what i'm saying like it's just it makes me grateful because like then i start thinking it's like well what would, what would my life be without a foot what would my life be without hands without hands y'all oh one hand you know it's like like we take so many things for granted and it's like bro i'm just i i wake up every morning like bro i'm grateful i'm grateful uh somebody said they're grateful for their friends and therapists shout out to therapy and friends what's your sign i'm an aries i was born april 19th i'm an aries people like you who are very knowledgeable thank you i I don't feel like I'm knowledgeable. I just feel like I, I study a lot and I just pay it. I, I'm a very analytical type of person. So like I study patterns. I study people like I try not to stare. My mom would say I have a bad habit of staring at people. I try not to stare. But like I find I find people and things like creatures in general very interesting, you know. So it's like I like to study stuff and I just talk about what I see. I'm really grateful for being blessed with gifts that heal others and myself. I'm going to follow you. April 14th. Oh, we got the Aries in the building. April 14th, Aries here. 
Team Aries. April 19th is my son's birthday. Okay. Thank God for waking up each one at that part. That part. Because, like, I don't know. I feel like for people that believe in God and people that don't believe in God, it's like uh, March 23rd. Okay. Waking us up. Uh, I feel like people, how can I put it? I feel as though as much as we believe for the okay for the, for the people that believe in in, in the afterlife and, and believe in uh God right heaven heaven and hell and stuff like that okay you have an idea or you 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 believe that you'll wake up in one of the two right and for the people that don't you got some people that honestly don't know what waking up after you after you pass what that is or where do I go or what do I do you know what I'm saying it's like so you just thinking about like waking up the next day and still being alive regardless of your denomination or whatever your beliefs is like that's something to be grateful about because even the people that strongly believe in something haven't experienced it yet as you and and, that, and it's just me just being real you know and I, I believe in God you know it's just me just being real it's like I believe in these things but most people need to experience it to really believe it Often, because the reason why we, I guess, we can be so lackadaisical about that ideology, or to like really, I ain't gonna say be careless, or like to really not be as grateful, is because we haven't we haven't died, and we don't know anybody that has died, and been on that side long enough, or wherever that that place is long enough to come back and tell us what it's like. At least people that we don't personally know, because you got people that be like, well, I died, I came back, God showed me this, that, and the third. But that, in the back of my head, I'm like, okay, I'm not saying I don't believe you, but you're not somebody that I know. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't I don't know what to what to and what not to believe whenever y'all are talking like that. But at the same time, thanks for, I'm, seeing, I'm just seeing this. Thank y'all for the follows, too. Shout out to y'all. Um, but yeah, it's like, it's like, I feel like we can we can just get in the in a place of of like mindlessness. And not even in a bad way. It's just human nature. It's like we don't know what's next. We could you could study till you blue in the face. You could study till you show yourself approved. You can dive into whatever books you want to dive into. Everybody down to even if it's point zero 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 one percent in you, somebody everybody has at least a percentage in their body of I don't know what's gonna happen when I close my eyes and, and they don't open again. Like I would love to know uh, or have a way to talk to my grandmother. My grandmother passed recently. Like I would, I would love that. You know, I would love to see. Hey, what's it like over there? Like, what's going on? Like, yeah, do you do you like come back as reincarnation? Like, are you you up there? You down? Like, where you at? What's going on? So it's like we don't have that technology. We don't have that medium. We don't have whatever that thing may be or that threshold. Because that's that's a prime example. Just to make y'all think even more. There's another theory I've been studying, and it's actually proven in science that spirits are real. It's just that spirits vibrate faster than sound and light. So we can't see and or feel them per se. But at the same time, that does not mean they don't exist because we can't identify or have a medium or a way to uh, to see them or communicate or interact with them. There, there may very much so be another because there may, there may very much so be another dimension or level. And say, let's say a spiritual entity is sitting on top of me right now. I don't have the tools in my human body to like see that and understand that or whatever or the discernment or the intuition, but that doesn't mean that it's not happening or it doesn't exist. You feel me? So it's like, and it's just to make y'all think and like, that's the stuff I've been looking into lately. And I've, I've always dove in, you know, I've always researched and all that type of stuff, but like, you know, it's just been, it's been on my algorithm. So I'll go read it. I'll go look, I, I'm a, st- I'm gonna just read a book. That's just me. I read books. So I'll go read up on it. And it's just interesting, you know, because like, well, I mean, we'll honestly never know. At least the people that's in this generation, like said, there comes a time when they have that technology, tools and communication. OK, cool. Y'all got that. But like as far as right now, I don't see that happening in the next 40, 50 years. I don't because technology and in hive mind society, well, hive mind society in general, it's not moving in that direction. It's not it's not moving in that. Everybody's moving in like a totalitarianism. People are moving in very selfish manners. People are moving in ways that are inharmonious or non harmonious, whatever the word is, to the things around them and the people around them. You know, so until I feel like that's a that's a, a unity thing. That's an understanding. That's a at to transcend. We have to be on the same page plain the same level of understanding or at least majority of us we have to have a different type of uh hive mind and i don't see us going in that direction because everything is so vain these days every every to build a brand is like because like i have i'm real good at marketing so i have ways that i can i can very much so be a millionaire or be like 
on the top of this, that, and the third, blah, blah, blah. I can do that right now, but I don't like the vanity behind it. I don't like... I don't like the morality, the lack of morality behind it. I don't like conning people. I don't like lying to people or, or giving people items and things that honestly mean nothing to them. So that's why when y'all go on my site, CoachBrian.com, I hit the link on my bio. You know, it's like I tell people, here's something to educate you. Here's something to take you to the next level. And when I start dropping my herbal blends, my proprietary blends, that's going to be something physical that y'all can have other than the merchandise that's in the shop or the book or my, or my ebook. But it's like. I I don't I just don't feel like giving people things that has that just brings them no benefit, no matter, no no increase, no nothing. You know, it's like that's that's just me. Like I I need the increase. I need I need something that's going to push me forward. And if I'm sowing something into people or people cuz like whether we're consciously handing it out or emailing or whatever giving people product, that's your product. That's your seed. Even if they got to go to a website and buy it or whatever, they're receiving something from you. They're receiving that experience. They're receiving whatever the content of those things are. Like a lot of that stuff is being interacted with and it has your hands, your spirit, your blueprint, your intention all on it. And I don't want to get a million dollars, but it's behind some just stupid stuff. Like if I'm going to get if I'm going to see a million dollars, I want to see it from, oh, I healed this person. Oh, this person came here and gained this knowledge. Oh, this person. Uh, left with something that's gonna forever change their life and their family's lives or this person left with something they can reuse they don't even have to come back to me no more and they go for the rest of their life let me get it like that just let me get it like that because like i go i go i'm telling y'all i go study a lot of marketing i go study i'm just a i'm just a nerd like i like studying that type of stuff but i just haven't found my way of getting there yet that would expedite the process because i'm very look as God is my witness, I'm grateful for where I'm at right now. I'm in the stretch right now, but I'm grateful for it. But like the means or the ways to expedite this process would be very vain and very, very, um, what's the word in a very greedy manner, you know? So I do understand we live in a capitalism society, a capitalist society. I get that, you know, money makes our particular economy go around. I get that, but that doesn't mean that that's my source. That should not be my reason to do what I'm doing. I should want to get to that ultimate level of capital or resource or access to resources in a very humane way, in a very dignified way. Not to say I'm holier than thou or this, that, and that. I'm not even trying to talk in a religious man. I'm just being real. It's like if you think about prime example, if you think about the hoods, right? Ain't nobody just getting up and going and shoot people that look like them and steal from people that look like them and do all that for no reason or just doing it just because, oh, that's how I feel, blah, 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 blah. That's a program. That's a system. You know, like if that's if we already have or we're born in place into systems or, or geographical areas that's lacking resources or I don't have the means to have access to these resources from a child on up, we're going to do it by any means necessary because at the end of the day, it's survival. No matter how you want to paint it, no matter how, how civilized our technology has advanced and blah, 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 blah. People are going to get it by any means necessary because not everybody has the access to resources. Even like you and I do, we're regular people. Not everybody even has the, the access to those resources. Like we do the fact that we even on in the internet. Some people don't even have that. A lot of people don't have that. You know, so I'm not about to sit there and judge those people. But at the same time, I do understand that is like the resources or access to resources changes the game. Look at the people. And, and that's what well, we'll I even get into that. That's the part that be, that be making me mad about these. You know who people that that's born into privilege, that's born into resources, that's born into access to wealth and generational wealth. And they out here doing some sadistic stuff from the from the top to the bottom, like and have no reason to do it. You have a table laid before you of opportunities and people like us coming from the hoods, coming from uh, single parent households, coming from drug addicts. Like we sitting, there, we sitting there. What's going on, love? Um, we sitting here trying to trying to like really get it by any means necessary. But like we're not trying to go about it in a very crazy route. You know what I'm saying? Or a very demeaning or violent route. And people like them are born into that and they just they just piss it away. And they treat it like it's nothing. Are they rubbing it in other's faces? It's like, what is going on? I don't understand that. So it's like, I'm real big on, okay, yeah, we can move forward. We can advance. And it's really about having accesses or possession of resources rather than like, oh, well, I'm going to do this to get this by any means necessary. Yeah, hustle and, and do what you got to do, but have a have a dignity in it. Have a have an understanding. And, and look, let me tell let me tell you all this, too. This don't mean that everything got to be peaceful and, and docile and nonchalant. Sometimes you got to you got to take your stuff back by violence. I'm not saying go out there and, and be, you know, what I'm saying like and look for problems. But like you have to protect what's yours. You have to protect the thing that you work hard for your investments. You got people that's just, you know, what I'm just saying like you just 
man, it, it's it's a lot. I, I know I'm just, I know I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm rambling right now, but I feel like the people that's in here that's that's gonna get it, y'all get what I'm saying. It's like we we are that next generation, or we're pushing in a next generation or ideology of how to be progressive and how to be ind- individuals and how to be um how to be what what's the word I'm looking for? How to have a solace about ourselves without being pompous, without being vain, without being undignified. You know, and I'm and that, and me saying undignified doesn't mean oh uh, uh unholy or like not, you know what I'm saying, not even all of that. What I'm saying is like just doing it the right way. We're not walking, you know what I'm saying? We're not looking. Not like one of my biggest things is I'm real big on like homeless homeless care because like Ain't nobody want to be homeless. Let's just be honest with it. Most people don't want to be homeless. No, no, nobody want to be begging and bumming for food and stuff all day, every day. I'm real big on the society should just, instead of just putting trees and stuff anywhere, everywhere, put fruit trees in places to where you may not, this person may not necessarily, and let it be for the public. This person may not necessarily have the access to get it from the store. Oh, but we have orange trees right here. We got grapes over here. Or we got apple trees over here. And it's for the public. So it's like everybody still have a chance to eat. So the homeless people, they may not have the money. But every day, they can go pick them some apples and some whatevers. You know what I'm saying? It'd be simple stuff like that. It'd be simple stuff like that that we can start doing if we had the resources. Once again, if we had the resources. It'd be simple stuff like that. That can change Oh, give it a give it a give it five years. It can change so much in the society. One of my friends, Body by Tail, y'all go follow her on TikTok too. One of my great friends. I love that. I love that girl. We always shooting it every day. And like she we had a talk about because her mom is a uh uh what you call that? She's a, not a philanthropist. She's a I think it might be a philanthropist. Well she does she does societal work. And they did a not an experiment, but they did an investment on the neighborhood. Uh, impoverished neighborhood and they had like planted fruit trees and stuff like that and the crime rates went down the violence rate went uh went down the sickness in the area went down because those people started having different accesses to different resources to where they didn't have to well yeah just think about it like i ain't saying we we all been through the struggle and been in the hood and stuff like that but like think about a day where you was hungry and you didn't have the money to get food so you were in a you were in a space of being desperate you know, so you was in that moment, you probably doing anything just to satiate yourself. So think about somebody who's in an even worse situation like that. Don't have the access to the resources like that. And they wake up in that reality every day. Yet we piss away money. as I don't know why I'm talking about this. y'all. We're not. Oh, well, yet we piss away money. Um, the, well, the, the, the people that's supposed to use the tax dollars and all that stuff, right? They piss away the money and they put money where it don't need to go. You know, you got like people, oh my God, it's, it's a, y'all, it's a list. It's a, it's a list. I'm getting agitated. Just think about it. It's a list of things that we can be doing better on a simple level, on a very simple level. If, if people can just, if the ideologies and the mindsets could just change and, or at least hit the right people. And we really give back to our communities the right way the next five years, y'all. Like, a lot of this stuff can change. Now, I'm not saying it's going to fix every problem. But I'm just saying, like, a lot of people don't know how to give proper solutions or aid to people because they don't, not for one time, have they been in that situation or they even try to put themselves in that person's shoes. Because you got to, like, for somebody that's really, really privileged, for them to even slightly understand what people like us had to go through, it's like, take your worst situation and multiply it times ten. And that's our every day. That's what we go through every day. You know, and, it's, and I just I just don't get it. It's like people like me fight so hard to make a change in other people's lives and invest in other people's lives. And we're not rich. I don't I don't make over fifty thousand dollars a year. I'm not rich. You know, I'm barely over minimum wage. And it's like I'm sitting here investing in my education to give back to y'all taking seven plus years of holistic knowledge and education putting it in books putting it in protocols putting it in products and trying to give that back to my community to where because i really feel as though there's a disconnect between our uh ancestry and, and us we shouldn't especially as black people we should not be this sick we should not be the leading uh the leading causes not the leading causes the leading the leading what's the word statistics for cancer and high blood pressure hypertension in general um thyroid problems and uh, infertility we don't come from that that's not in our genetics but they but when you dive into redlining you dive into where they put the resources how people can get these resources how this that and the third and then now you see why and then you couple that on top of where well, this isn't sourced properly or we don't have the money to go get the things that are sourced properly or we don't even know anything about it you know, like, oh, God, y'all about to make me dive into some stuff. Even even certain algorithms and things that people see on their feed, even though that they think that is just it's spontaneous. It is that in the third. I was going off of what I like. 
people in different geographical locations, their algorithms will specifically show them certain type of things. And that's just what it, that's just how it is. That's an artificial intelligence. That's just how it rolls. You know, so it's like it's really perception, ideology, intention. And once the people that's higher up are the people that have more resources, because there's people, there's only so much that people like you and I can do. Like I'm doing my part as far as trying to educate people and putting myself out there and taking the risk, you know, like really trying to spread this this uh this different type of medical ideologies and stuff like that and get people on a on a healthier wave. Not even just uh, with the foods able with their mentality, but there's only so much I can do. Uh, now whatever God charged me with, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna prepare myself for it. But at the same time, it's like you know. I think about people that have a bigger pool to fish from, a bigger a bigger cast to throw in the water, and they just oh right here, like oh just a little bit, nah it don't matter. It's like nah bro, y'all gotta y'all gotta do something. You know what I'm saying? It's like we all gotta collectively do something. But I'm, I'm gonna get off. I feel like I'm beating a dead horse at this point. I'm gonna get off it. Um, somebody said I'm about to start planting them myself in random places when I can. You talk about trees? Hey, I don't blame you. Cause they had a couple went to uh I think it was Brazil it was it was some place it was a very 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 deforested area and they replanted that entire forest and like oh my god that was it was so beautiful uh and that whole agriculture that whole area is, is thriving yet again the lack of fruit trees is intentional I feel yeah definitely like if you notice or you really do the research on it they only put male trees in most areas to where they can't really repopulate like talking about or there's a specific type of like flow or energy within the area. You know, and then granted, you got a lot of people doing out of ignorance too. Well, we didn't know there's a difference between blah 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 blah. Like, eh, it is what it is. So it's like like plants. You gotta think about even though they're asexual, you gotta think about plants. Certain plants and certain uh, creatures have certain tendencies. You know, they pollinate these things, uh, whether it be through their process of them going to it or seeds flying everywhere and pollen and this that and the third. Like pollen, if y'all don't know, pollen is just like plant babies. Like. I don't want to say the word. I don't know if I'm going to get flagged, but plant reproductive fluids. I'll say that since y'all can tie the two. And, you know, when that pollen, the reason why this pollen is like so sticky and it gets inside the system and all that type of stuff, it's intentional. That's what they do. That's how it, that's how they repopulate and move things around. You know, so they plant certain things around like that for a reason. It, it is what it is, but we got to do our part. Was like, you got to think about victory gardens back then. If we was to all get on that wave and find us at least some heirloom seeds or some orga organic seeds or whatever fruits and vegetables we got and start having at least 30 to 40 percent of our yards have to be like make that mandatory. And just like a mandatory cultural rule, it don't even have to be nothing like our legislative legislative uh, information, nothing like that. But just like in our yards, like the climate would change, the the poverty levels would change, the, the agriculture, the health levels would I'm talking about skyrocket, you know, so. Oh Lord, we just so far we just so far derooted from our our history, bro. I remember I was talking about like the origins of a lot of the foods and recipes that we have down here in the south, and people's minds were blown. Talking about glazed ham and all that type of stuff, and ash cakes and all that type of stuff. And because I, I mean I'm I'm in like the south, I'm in like southern southern Louisiana, and I live not even let's see, I do my my three mile is from so about two. I live about like a mile and about two miles. I live about two miles from a plantation. And it's on the main street. They keep it up. They they bring the kids over there for field trips and stuff like that. Just mocking us. You know, just throwing it in our face. That's the, the heritage and the the pride of this southern area and blah, 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 blah. And I'm sitting here like, the pride, huh? Slavery? Really? All right. Cool. The stuff that, and then they then they got like the slave graves and everything. Like they, they didn't, it's, it's literally like a, what do they call it? A historical monument. Like they really take care of it. And I just be sitting here like. All this money, and y'all not gonna do nothing. Y'all not gonna do the right stuff. Y'all not gonna put it where it needs to go. But it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get off of that because I feel like I'm about to be. I don't. I can only talk about government stuff for so long before people start tuning out. I know not everybody want to hear that. <laughs> so talk about Nick Minaj or something like that. I have one by me. Yeah, it'd it be like that. My city just went viral for. Um, they just talked about like some of the biggest slave trades and like the uh, plantation stuff like that. We have some of the biggest and like we just we just one of the biggest cores, our biggest landing ports of slavery. So like. You know, they they we going viral now, but I'm saying like y'all, it's been like that. Them people been like that around here. Like I live not three houses down from some people that probably wouldn't even save me if I got shot in the middle of the street. If I'm just being completely honest with you, like that's just that's the that's the city. That's why I'm at. And when I move, thank God I'm gonna be able to move. It is what it is. Let's see, it's four or six. Okay, we still got some time. So any more questions, y'all? Any more questions? This is the this is the part where it gets kind of. 
I didn't talk my head off, so it gets a little slow. Cause I know how I could, I know how I could get. <laughs> I know I could just kind of take y'all down some wormholes sometimes, and then we just, we just kind of lost. We just, we just there, you know, with nothing to really rebuttal on. But once again, y'all, if y'all have any type of holistic questions, anything in general, y'all can just feel free to comment. I'm a, I'm still going to answer anything. <laughs> Mom and Shaq already know. I could, I be going off on my tangent sometimes. I be trying to, trying to reel myself back in, but it is what it is. But yeah, y'all, I'm, I'm looking real. I'm really looking forward to um dropping the therapy episode. If not today, tomorrow. Just like a squirrel, don't do me. Uh, <laughs> I'm really, I'm really looking forward to drop that episode because like Brooke really came through, and that's what I love about therapists. It's like she really came through and just opened up another can of worms. Like it really be the perspective. It's like she'll be like, yeah, but here's what we do in my, in my practice. Let's think about it this way, and then tell me how you feel after that, and tell me how you conceptualize this after that. And once I started doing that and practicing that, I was like, yo, this made a big difference in my mood. This made a big difference in how I think about this and view this. You know, it, it, it puts me in a more constructive manner. So shout out to her for one. But like when I'm going to post the episode, I really want y'all to go see that. Like, I don't know how much of the podcast y'all been going back and watch or little short clips and stuff like that. The content y'all been going to watch. But I will say this. Y'all don't want to miss that one. Y'all and y'all definitely don't want to miss the one from like two days ago. That it's, it's already I think it's episode 13. Cause I think I'm posting episode 15 today, so I think it's episode 13. But like y'all, just go back and, and double check those. That's the ones that got the the more organized looking thumbnails. Cause my other ones just all over the place. But um, I'm about to wrap it up, y'all. I feel like I did enough talking. I'm about to wrap it up. Unless y'all got some more questions, I'm about to get up out of here. I'm gonna get y'all five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. But um, I, this is my closing remarks. I always say this one. Thank y'all so much for tuning in, for sure. Like, I, I'm really appreciative of the support. I'm really appreciative of everybody that comes in and and gives their time because time is something that you can't get back. You know, oftentimes people, they give, 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 give time. And then like, well, they give so much. And then when they do give their time and like, oh, well, I wish I would have never blah, blah, blah. Well, you can't rewind and get that back. You know, so I'm really appreciative for the people that actually come through and give me y'all time. Y'all listen to me. Y'all be blasting me in y'all cars and all that type of stuff. Like, I'm real appreciative for that. Like, I got a lot of people messaging me like, oh, I'll be listening to you on my way to work. Cause you know, the time difference and stuff like that. I've listened to you on the way to work. or I go back on your YouTube and I go watch the episode that I missed. And oh, my God, I got a question about this. Like, I'm, I, I love people like that because that means so much to me. It's like I'm actually getting through to people. And that's what I really want to do. I want to I want to make y'all think I want to make y'all move around in y'all head just to kind of like sow them little seeds here and there. So how often do you be on live and is there certain days typically honestly i was i was only doing three days a week like 3 15 and if i get too busy to where it's one day a week i'll definitely let y'all know but honestly i've been going live every day like this past week i want to say i don't think i missed the day the week before that i missed i know for sure i missed thursday because i had to learn some more music for the rehearsal and friday i definitely i don't think i came on at all but um monday through friday I, but I, know, I, I ain't going to say Friday every day because I ain't going to lie. Some days the weekends hit me and I just I immediately clock off. So I know for sure Monday through Thursday, 315 Central Standard Time, uh, you can definitely find me on, on a live, bro. It's been doing wonders because, like, I'm kind of getting back to posting content content again and stuff like that on TikTok. But, like, I'd rather come on here and talk with people and then post my content whenever is the best time for me to post it because I just like talking with people. I feel like this is, like, if I'm going to have an audience like this, I would rather reflect on my live, people actually engaging and coming and talk and learn and having interactions with me than just like, oh, y'all like some content. Now, granted, I'm grateful because when y'all go back and like the content on my TikTok page, it throws me an algorithm, more people can come and the cycle restarts and it gets bigger. But, you know, at the end of the day, I love this a lot better than that. But um, I'm appreciative of y'all. Like for all y'all that's even still up in here. We saw for like, we had like 40 something and jumped to like 50, 60 something. And now we have 15. This is what I live for. I love for the people that that's actually want to be in here and that's, that actually want to like be a part and listen and actually learn something and they stay and they follow. Like I'm here for people like y'all because this is a true following. This is a true reflection of what I'm trying to do. But other than that, because I'm going to talk y'all here. Other than that, I pray y'all have a blessed day. I pray y'all have a great day. I'm about to get off of this thing. My little nephew is in the living room and I'm, it's time for me to take them dogs out of the... I had When y'all saw me leave earlier, I just went and put them in their in they kennels. But um. <laughs> Uh, I love it here, Coach. And I love y'all. I'm really, I, I, like, honestly, God, I'm appreciative of y'all. I thank y'all so much. But um, I'm going to head out. I got, uh, I don't really have work to do because I'm leaving for my vacation tomorrow. But I really just want to, I don't know, I just want to go do something. I just want to go do something that makes me happy. You know, so y'all should do the same. But peace and blessings to y'all. I wish y'all the best. Y'all be good. Praise God, man. But um, go follow Tony Baker, too. He funny. That's where I get that from. But y'all have a great day.